What's up YouTube? Jethro Doors coming at you with a video from an RV show. Um, some of you might know this, but we actually live in a 38 foot fifth wheel camper. It's a 2010 Keystone Montana and uh, bought it as salvage, fixed up the roof. And now I'm thinking we are going to probably look around for maybe a newer model that you know has flood damage or something like that. And I'll fix that one up and we'll move into that instead. Looking for something a little bit newer, a little bit bigger. And uh, we're just gonna walk around here and maybe do some walkthroughs with some nice fifth wheels and some nice RVs just to kind of look at some layouts of some of these things. And my parents are also living in an RV right now and they either want one substantially bigger or want to get a uh, fifth wheel camper to replace it because you just have a lot more usable square footage. Although you don't have the conveniences while you're rolling down the road, it's just really nice to have that extra space when you're going to be living in it for a few months at a time. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned if you want to see some walk arounds of some nice RVs. And, uh, Octane by Jayco. Not a fifth wheel, but wow, yeah. that took pretty good use of the space in here. This is That's nice, yeah. nice tall ceilings. So it's there. all garage. Yeah, but except for when you're down here and all the sand in your RV. Huh? You know, but it's not nice big bathroom. <laughs> kind of a small bedroom, though. You're hauling your stuff around. That's my big thing. Pretty nice chairs. It's pretty cool. They sure do look big on the outside, but they're just not big enough. Single axle in the rear. I need a double axle. Berkshire. That's a huge slide out. Thirty-eight. Right. Thirty-eight is what you guys have, isn't it? I think ours is title is thirty-six. Certainly a lot more wide open space than your guys' has. A lot more counter. Oh, wow. Tiny bedroom. Bunk. Yeah. That would be nice to just stick in there. All I need. Yeah. Take the bed out, put the crib in. Yeah, oh, you that's just cool. put a rail up so you couldn't roll out. Alright. Tiny shower? Uh, it's a little bit than ours, but I guess it's a Probably about the same size as about the same size as my current one. Ooh, washer and dryer. Washer and dryer. We really gotta get a washer and dryer in ours. It's a pain in the butt using the uh, the ones at the RV place at the uh, campground. Dynasty by Monaco. Dual axle in the rear. This one might be big enough. <laughs> yeah, this one's uh, got a little bit more open space than your guys' does. Yeah. Wow, it actually has a counter in the bathroom. Unlike ours, where it's like got basically nothing. Nice big bed, big uh, back bedroom. Nice big closet. Holy crap. 
That's a huge closet space. <laughs> this one's actually used 2007 Monaco Dynasty. 2006. My bad. Nice full size fridge. I wish ours had that. Our next one hopefully will. Columbus by Palomino. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. It is a little windy out here. I like these stairs like this instead of the janky ones that came out of Montana. These are nice, but I think you can actually get those aftermarket too. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. I like this layout considerably more than ours. What is this? Oh, half bathroom. Nice big bedroom, or maybe not so much big. It's about the same size as ours. Nice big shower, absolutely full size shower. Oh, That's nice. nice. Walk in closet in an RV. I don't know that you guys can actually see any of that because it's kind of dark in here. Yeah, yeah, I guess you can kind of see it. And another closet. Double vanity. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. I like this way more than ours, but there's really no good place to put a crib for my son. So, although I like it, it would not work for me. Another Columbus by Palomino that I did just did a walkthrough on that one right there, but it's got one entrance. This has two, and uh, I got a feeling it's got a significant, diff significantly different layout. Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah, that is. Pretty awesome. I'm not a huge fan of the electric stove, but that's all right. Yeah, I hate electric sure stoves. Although Leonard said that almost everyone was going to electric. This table there, Full size refrigerator. Nice big kitchen, a lot of countertop space. Nice big TV. Rear, rear bedroom setup. Nice big bathroom, or not really big bathroom, but nice big shower in the bathroom anyway. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh yeah, a lot of room in the bedroom. That's nice. Decent sized closet. Maybe a washer and dryer. Oh, got washer and dryer hookups. <clears throat> This thing is pretty all right. I think we could make do with this. This little grand design reflection. It's got three slide outs on it. 31 foot bumper pull. Like fifth wheels look a lot like this. Mm -hmm. Inside. Yeah. I would expect a bumper pull to have huh. more room. No, less. Oh. Because the the fifth wheel goes up over the bed of the pickup truck. They usually have taller ceilings too. Couldn't touch the ceiling, and uh, then the fifth wheels. You can R2X stain and soil resistance system because accidents do happen. Yep, they do. <laughs> yep. They do. I wonder if our carpet has that. You can like get, get the basement RV. from what? in the closet. Really? In the basement from in here? That's cool. There you go. Yeah. And your dog can always be right close by. <laughs> oh, geez. That is kind of a cool feature. Yeah, because you can leave reach, it open and have your air on. Being able to reach right down in there. I don't see any washer dryer. Um, right there. Might have a washer dryer hookup. Nope. 
No washer and dryer hookup in this one. A little bit smaller than I like anyway, but it's fun to just walk around and kind of look. Yeah, it's amazing that this thing has more counter space than ours, and ours is a 38 footer. They really screwed up when they did that, especially because right around the sink, it slants down for about a two inch ring right around the sink. You just lost two inches of counter space all the way around it. it makes no sense. Like a lot of these little tiny ones around here would be somewhat easier to sell because a lot more people need them. This little Imagine and Sunset Trail, all these little ones. I'm gonna start buying and flipping some salvage units and uh, there's a whole bunch of this littler stuff on there that's, you know, dented and dinged up and, you know, been in an accident or whatever the case may be. And I think over the summer, I'm going to start buying some, flipping them, making some money. So that way I can put me and her and the little guy in a much bigger fifth wheel. This is, you stand, you stand up on it? What's that? And you paddle it. Yeah. Yeah, that cool? Yeah, that orange roby. I think that's only like a 10 footer though. Uh, you get a lot more stability if you get like an 11 or 12. I could go with this. Yeah. $2,700 for that little rib. Nice Hobie. Yeah, I would love to have one of these things. Oh, the native. Those are pretty cool too. Does that go down through here? Yeah. No, no, that comes down right through here. This plastic thing pulls out and then that drops down in there. Alright. Um and then kind of like this this has got two fins on the bottom. This is what Leonard has. And then this actually pulls up and out of there. I like that A lot of people a lot of people seem to like the Hobies better. They like the drive on them, um, opposed to the prop. And I think they say they're a little faster. Those are 4,000. Newmar Dutch Star. Oh yeah. Mountaineer by Newmar. You know what? Let's start up here and work our way down. Yeah, that thing is awesome. And it's also $580,000. $580,000. Does anybody have $580,000 they feel like giving away? Because I don't have it. Wow. Oh yeah, well, that's really cool. Or the basement thing that comes out like that. It's a Newmar Mountaineer. It's actually got rear steering, nice big basements. You got problems with your closing? Yours closing? You got problems with that one closing? <laughs> Newmar Dutch Star, 43 and a half foot. Space. I think it's pretty nice, but I don't think it would fit my lifestyle. Oh wow! Tiffin Phaeton XSH. Got a Cummins. Cummins motor. Two slide outs on this side. I got a feeling it's got two giant slide outs on the other side too. Wow. 
Yeah, I think this one feels like it's got the most room out of all of them. It's nice how that stows away. Full size. Nice full size fridge. Do they by chance have free water in here? <laughs> it's hotter than balls today. And a bunch of these campers, because a lot of them don't have air conditioning on. Oh wow, that's fancy. Touch screen to control all the slides and everything. It probably controls the leveling system. Well, the leveling's automatic. Well, yeah, you probably just push a button on that thing exactly. and it levels the whole thing. Half bath. Pretty nice half bath. It even has a little ceiling fan in here. I think I'm the most impressed with this one so far. It's got a pretty decent sized shower. Not full size, but pretty big. Kind of a walk-in closet here. Washer and dryer. Oh yeah, I've only seen I think one of one other double vanity today. Everything's got these fancy weird buttons. Oh, it's nice and cool in here. They really got the AC cranked in this one. Yeah, they do. I just want to climb into that refrigerator. It is hot today. <laughs> nice big kitchen area. Uh, I don't really care for the electric stove top but it's nice this is awesome to say the least very nice this is the uh tiffin allegro bus it's a little darker in here they don't have all the lights on nice tv Nice couches, full size everything, nice big kitchen, half bathroom, nice touch panel to be able to do all the controls in this thing, bed tilts, bed kind of adjusts and uh, you know sits up like a recliner would. Nice big shower. Thing even has a rain head. That is awesome. Oh yeah. I think I could live in this thing. This would do. Even has a little bit of counter space back here in the closet. That's pretty nice. And has a washer dryer unit. Heck, I think it even has a safe down there. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Nice to have a little safe like that. Pop-up TV comes out behind the fireplace. Fireplace in the Yeah. I think I could live in this. This would do. And so far, this is my favorite RV I've seen for the day. It's a Tiffin Allegro bus. Some little truck camper. I had a little truck camper at one point in time. Took it out and went hiking in the, some mountains in Georgia and had a blast. I tell you what, it was a little crammed hanging out in a truck camper with three dogs and my wife. But you know what, this thing's got a heck of a lot more than mine does. It's even got burners, little fridge. I don't know that I'd fit in there, but I guess it's even got a toilet too. A little half bath. <laughs> this thing is cool. Oh, but I think I need a lot more space than uh, it has to offer. tiny little thing so I live in a Montana right now but this one's a 2014 and mine is a 2010 I see it's got two slide outs on this side and it's got wow one slide out up here so a nice front living room yeah I like I like the front living room this is a So this is the first one we've walked in today that's had a front living room and I've been looking forward to seeing some and go figure, a Montana is what I already have and it has it. So um, I know I like what I have 
but I do want something a little bit bigger and this one's only about a foot bigger so not interested in this one directly but uh, nice full size fridge and freezer which is something mine does not have the front living room and I feel like this kitchen has a lot wow yeah this thing's probably got twice as much counter space as uh, ours does see what the, the bathroom looks like okay so the bathroom connected to the bedroom big bathroom same exact identical shower that uh, ours has I like this nice big back bedroom so this thing's got two slide outs right here nice back door kind of nice to have all the ways to get out so there's a third slide out fourth and fifth five slide outs total i want six but i think i can make do with five that's pretty dang nice so she likes it i like it and uh it's used we'd stick zeke right here we just would have to get rid of that couch and put the crib and whatever else he needs right over here which is pretty much exactly what we did in our man and our montana only our living room is all the way in the back so we took out a couple of the chairs that were sitting there and his crib and all his stuff fit perfectly there so yeah this thing is this would do i think i'm gonna have to keep my eyes open for a nice newer montana a bigger one yeah. than uh, what we live in. Dylan. Right, it's only four years newer than mine, and it's a whole lot nicer. They really stepped it up to have a little outdoor entertainment. And what's this? Oh wow, some uh, storage, which is located directly under the bed. Although this one doesn't have the basement space, this one doesn't have the basement space that ours has. Maybe it's got a little bit larger space on the other side for that, but we kind of depend on the basement space. Yeah, no, it's small. We use the basement space because we put the dog kennels down there. We don't travel with them down there, but that's where they sleep at night and keeps a lot of the dog stink out of the rest of our living space. And, uh, you know, we make sure that it's properly cooled and heated, so they're all good and comfortable down there. It's just kind of their space. But, uh, yeah, that one would almost not work. I mean, might be able to have them back to back, but it'd be kind of a pain in the butt. All right, so that's going to wrap up the end of this video. Got to check out some pretty cool stuff with uh, some kayaks and some little rib boats and a whole lot of really cool RVs and uh, fifth wheel campers. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video as much as I enjoyed walking around and checking all this stuff out in person. And uh, if you think you've got any friends that might enjoy it too, share it with them. Help me grow this channel so that way eventually I can do this stuff full time. Give you guys way more content and way better content when I've got more time to learn how to do video editing, maybe update my camera equipment, that kind of stuff. So. Yeah, if you like it, give it a thumbs up, comment, whatever your thoughts are below, and uh, have a wonderful day.